What's good, my great people? Again, another tutorial from your boy Ellup from ksound.com. Listen, I wanted to tell you guys about how to replace your drums. So if you're recording live drums, it didn't come through quite the way that you wanted, or it's not working in the mix, you can actually replace your drums. You can replace the kick. I usually replace the kick or the snare, more so the kick and the snare most of the times. But you can replace the hi-hats. You can replace the toms if you want to. You can replace pretty much essentially anything. So I have a recording right here. And, and, and it's, you know, I'm just going to show you guys how to replace the snare. And you can take that knowledge and apply it to wherever you need to. So basically, um, this is an acoustic set that was recorded live in the studio. And this engineer did a really great job in recording because, as you can see, is you can really see the snare the snare drum the transients to the snare drum is coming through real clean you're not getting much of anything in the middle everything else is bare minimum let's take a listen so you can still hear the kit a little bit in the background but it's very minimum so the mic the miking technique on this drum or the mic that he uses is awesome so in order to replace the drum, say, you know, I want just, you know, just something different. You have to actually go to your audio bin tool here where it says detection. Your mode, it has two modes here, standard and sensitive. Sensitive will, will pick up a lot of these extra things in the middle. So if you, you know, in this instance, if you got something that's coming through, coming through pretty clean like this, I will go to standard mode. And I'll just go ahead and, 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 and go for analyze here. And the standard mode would do a great job in picking up everything. All of my snare hits, as a matter of fact, all my snare transients. It won't necessarily pick up anything in the middle. You see, it did a great job in picking up, you know, just the snares. That's what I'm looking for. There is one section here that I don't know. Yeah, this is one one section down here that I would like to add so I actually had to go for my bin tool and add that in okay so we just add that in right there but say we use the sensitive now <laughs> this the sensitive will pick up everything so you, you know you want to Y'all ready for this? Now, this is if you, you know, you, you need to grab extra things. It, it, you know, it's just it's just really more so, you know, what you're looking for. And now watch the sensitive pick up everything. This is not what I'm looking for. So, you know, it's picking up things in between. All I need is, is the snare hit. So what we have to do at this point is readjust our threshold. So, so now I can only pick up my snare transients, okay? And you, you know, the same process is is in the standard. Maybe I, uh, you know, brought down my threshold too much. Bring it back just a little, just so I can get that. And you could do it like that. But keep in mind that it's going to pick up extra things. So, so far, okay, like this for instance say you don't you don't want that let's let's go here let's let's actually get a fatter a fatter real estate here say 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 right here you you don't want it to pick it up here so all you have to do, like I said, you have to see these are two different screens here. Down here is your, is it also your editing window or your piano roll, and you can do the same thing here in the range window, which is pretty cool. So you can pick which, whichever whichever window you you know you prefer to work out of. But uh, you can actually go here and select select that that transient or or that bin marker here, and just simply hit delete, and it's gone. Or I can put it back because I actually need that. <laughs> That's the uh, the extra snare that we was looking for. You can also move. Well, actually, we are getting into bending the 
the um the audio here because you can actually bend audio you know you say you want to lock it in somewhere like for instance say this right here and this is also a great way to uh quantize say you you need to you know a snare didn't quite hit you know where it's supposed to is a little bit off you can actually take this and just move it and lock it in place bam it's right there you know here's another one boom lock it in place you can do stuff like that as well but that's not what we're doing um because you actually what well, well, i rather i'd rather just take my whole entire kit put this put this in the group you know group mode and adjust the entire kit or you know and, and i'll just select everything and move everything over because like when you when you editing drums you want everything to stay together but i mean and there are some instances where your snare drum is off than everything else and you need to you know kind of nudge it over so it's great to have different options to do different things so the next step here is actually taking uh this snare and, and replacing well or not replacing double in this case we'll we'll double it or replace whichever it's the same process so we're going to go ahead and grab another instrument and already named it snare replace and this instrument is going to fall right underneath that and after this point you just simply grab this and bring it down and what studio one did was create me a midi file here with everything and it's like it's pretty cool because it's super sensitive so it's like it gives you that human feel down here and then at this point you just you just take a I don't know what, what whichever instrument you decide to use. Let's go with battery four. You know, I don't know. I mean, you can use whatever plugin you want to use. I usually use contact and grab the studio drama out of there and replace the snare. You know, a snare inside of there because the studio drama has you know nicer snares or whatever. But I'm just showing you guys that you can use any plugin it really doesn't matter so uh let's see let's say i have, you know i can replace it with any snare um let's just let's just put it there all right for instance so then we go back here it looked like it was at C1, if I'm not mistaken. Let's let's see. Let's see. yeah, C1. So all I'm gonna do here is just grab grab this MIDI information, and we're gonna go an octave down. So now let's play that. I hope you guys see how cool that is. I can double it or I can replace it or, you know, I could just totally mute this snare out and go. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can do whatever you want. If you want to, if you want to replace the sound, you can, you know, and just mute it or turn down and, and, and adjust the sound however you need to and say that you are pleased with what, you know, what you're doing. There's a technique I always love doing, which is bouncing in place. And all you have to do now at this point is just, uh, I don't have my key command set up for this one, but uh, you just bounce it in place. Bounce selection. 
or I could have said bounce to a new a new track. And this is my new snare wave file right here that I'm getting ready or that's currently bouncing down. All right, bam. Now we just bounce down the the track that we we've we've uh we was working on the MIDI file here and we can continue working on just waves in in this case. I hope that was very helpful to you guys. I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> this is your boy Ella. Remember at the end of the day, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.